Hello, my friends. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Look at this beautiful picture here. This is a beautiful water fountain. Look at this water fountain. It is frozen. Yes, it's in the middle of the river. Here is the river, and here is the beautiful water fountain. It's frozen. Very beautiful. Okay, now today, very important, modal verb and normal verb combinations. This is a common error for non-native speakers just like you. So it's very important to pay attention. This is not in the book. This is my special lesson today, but it's very important. Okay, what are modal verbs? Modal verbs express possibility, probability, capacity, capability, or permission. They don't show action. For example, Maria runs fast, but Joey can't run fast. Run is an action verb. Yes, it shows action. Can, or in this case, can't, is a modal verb. In this case, it's expressing capability. Yes, it is not showing action. Can doesn't show action. It's a modal verb. Okay, and there are nine modal verbs in the English language. Here are the nine modal verbs in their negative forms. Can, can't, could, couldn't, should, shouldn't, would, wouldn't, will, won't, may, may not, might, might not, must, must not, ought, ought not. And remember, these nine modal verbs, they express possibility, probability, capacity, capability, or permission, but they don't show action. Yes, they are not normal verbs. They are modal verbs. All right, now, normal verb and normal verb combinations. For normal verbs and normal verb combinations, we use two between the verbs. For example, I like to ride my bike. Like is a normal verb. It's not a modal verb. Ride is a normal verb. It's not a modal verb. So we use two to separate them. Here, Mark wanted to eat. Want is a normal verb. It's not a modal verb. Eat is a normal verb. It's not a modal verb. So we put two in between to separate them. Wanted to eat. She planned to go out. Planned is a normal verb. Go out is a normal verb. So we use two to separate them. Planned to go out. Okay, now for modal verb and normal verb combinations. Modal verbs often go before normal verbs. But we never use two between a modal verb and a normal verb. Never, 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 never use two between a modal verb and a normal verb. Just don't do it. For example, Bob can play tennis. Can is a modal verb. Play is a normal verb. So no two here. Can play. Maria should drink water. Should is a modal verb. Drink is a normal verb. So no two here. No. Should drink. They will visit their family. Will is a modal verb. Visit is a normal verb. So no two here. No, no, no. I would take the bus. Would is a is a modal verb. Take is a normal verb. So no two here. No, no, no. Would take. It could rain. Could is a modal verb. Rain is a normal verb. So no to here. No, no, no. It could rain. Okay, now, simple present versus present continuous. I know I talked to you about this last week, so I'll go fast. Just make a review. This is pretty easy, too. All right. Simple present versus present continuous. Simple present is for facts, habits, or what normally happens. For example, David loves pizza. This is a fact. And present continuous is for right now, agora memo. For example, David is eating pizza. This is about right now. Okay, simple present conjugation in the affirmative. I work, you work, she, he, it works. We work, they work. Conjugation in the negative of simple present. I don't work, you don't work. She, he, it doesn't work. We don't work, they don't work. And simple present conjugation for questions. Do I work? Do you work? Does she, he, it work? Do we work? Do they work? Easy. Okay, now present continuous conjugation in the affirmative. 
I am working. You are working. She, he, it is working. We are working. They are working. And in the negative, I am not working. You are not working. She, he, it isn't working. We are not working. They are not working. And conjugation for the question, am I working? Are you working? Is he, she, it working? Are we working? Are they working? Very easy, my friends. And remember, for simplification purposes, most of my examples don't have contractions, but you can use them. Contractions are fine. Contractions are excellent. I accept. All right, now vocabulary from the book. We have, I guess. I guess is a synonym with maybe. For example, look here, it says 50% chance of rain in the weather forecast. And he says, I guess it will rain, but maybe not. This is like, talvez vai chover, mas talvez no. I guess, a synonym with maybe. Storage. Storage is where we put things to use later. This is a storage place. Storage in Portuguese is armazenamento, armazenagem. Yes, storage. Trap. A trap is what we use to capture or kill something. This is a trap for a mouse. A trap. Own. Own is an adjective to express personal possession. Own in Portuguese is proprio. For example, Joe uses his own ball when he plays. His proprio ball when he plays. But own can also be a verb. And when own is used as a verb, it represents possession. For example, Trump owns this house in Florida. This basically means Trump possesses this house in Florida. It's a true story. This is Trump's house in Florida. Very beautiful. Very big, too. This is another picture of it. Trump owns from here all the way to here. This is all Trump's here. And this is the beach right here. Yes, this is all Trump's from here to here. Very big. Okay, now wood. Wood is a material that comes from trees. This is wood. As you can guess, wood in Portuguese is madeira. Indoors. Indoors is inside a house, building, or closed area. Indoors in Portuguese is dentro, the same as inside. And outdoors. Outdoors is outside of a closed area, the same as la fora in Portuguese. Outdoors and outside are synonyms. Outside, in, outdoors. For example, look, this dog is indoors, or this dog is inside. And this dog, we can say, this dog is outdoors, or this dog is outside. Food court. We talked about this last week. A food court is an indoor place with many restaurants. This is a food court. Malls typically have food courts. Melt. Melt is deheter. Melt is when solids turn liquid from hot conditions. I think I talked to you about this last week. Look, the ice cubes are melting. Melt. It's a verb. Hang out. Hang out is to spend time with friends or family. In Portuguese, hang out is kind of like pasar tempo. Look, the friends are hanging out at the coffee shop. Hang out. That's the end. Finish. Bye-bye. See you later, alligator in a while, crocodile. Have a good day, my friends.